welcome guys in this video we are going to look at the letter writing now if we are to look at the types of letters we have three main types of letters namely informal followed by semi-formal the last one is the formal letter which is sometimes known as the business letter now the type of letter depends on the people that you are addressing the letter to so now let's have a look at the informal letter so what kind of a letter is this one so number one you need to know that an informal letter is a kind of letter that we write to people of our age so we can just simplify by saying a letter that we address to friends not only friends can be families so relatives as long as these people are of our age and as long as they are of can be friends or relatives so that letter is considered to be an informal uh, letter now uh, let's have a look at uh, an example right so we have an example here we are told your cousin has just qualified to grade 8 and has been offered a place at Mpelembe secondary school he has written to you asking for advice about how best to conduct himself when he joins the school so that he can have a fruitful and enjoyable stay and at the end of which he should achieve academic key purpose so for this one we can still see that we are dealing with an informal letter since we are we are writing a letter to uh, the cousin of ours so now what are we supposed to do what is our first step when writing a letter okay so now uh, we need to first begin with the sender's address so the sender's address is the address of the person writing now in case you are writing this question on your finals it doesn't matter even if you use the address of the school let's say for example I'm going to use the open paragraph method and if we use that method the sender's address must be written on the right side on top here so for example let's say the school is Milemo secondary school so I can say Milemo secondary school so after the word school remember to put a comma so these are the punctuation rules so to separate the school from the PO box you put a comma then after that we can look at now PO box so PO box even if you don't know the actual numbers of the box of your school you can just come up with some numbers so I'm just going to use numbers like it uh, one two three let's say four so even after that remember to put a comma again then where is your school located so this school is located in Ndola so I'll just say Ndola then after Ndola you just have to put the full stop then if that is done you need to skip one line then you go to the date so if this letter is being written on the finals you can just use the the date of the day you are writing your exams so let's say if today is let's say 18th so you skip one line then you write 18th uh, let's say September September then comma 2024 full stop so after the month you put a comma then the year then on the 
last part here you just have to put the full stop so remember to skip a line between the sender's address and the date now after this is done we need to write the salutation so remember under the informal letter you only need to write the sender's address so we don't have to put the receiver's address in because we know the person receiving our our letter so for this one you just have to now say dear you mention the name of your cousin so let's say dear sama so after you write in sama you put a comma and remember also to put or to skip a line between the date and the salutation so these are part of the rules of compositions like letter writings in english now after this is done then what are we supposed to do so what we are supposed to do here is we need to now introduce so remember every composition must have an introduction main body and the conclusion so now how can you introduce so the introduction under this type of letter can be begin by you uh, greet each other so let's say we start by saying how are you so since it's a question we use the question mark so punctuation is very important then i can say i want to start by congratulating you on so on being accepted congratulating you on being accepted so remember it is about that person being accepted at Mpelembe secondary school or if want we can say on being accepted into Mpelembe secondary school right then you can just put a full stop here then we can also say i was very happy I was very happy when I had I heard the news. Full stop. So this can be my introduction. So remember the introduction should just be a short paragraph. So under introduction when you are writing an informal letter you can just put that personal information so it's okay to greet each other it's okay to say stuff like he i've missed you any personal information eh, is okay to be included in the introduction now remember this letter is about the cousin of someone that has just been qualified to go to grade eight and this person has been offered a place at Impelembe Secondary School. Now, this person wants you to write a letter. And what you are supposed to put in this letter is that you are supposed to give the advice or, <coughs> excuse me, pieces of advice about how best this person can conduct himself when he joins the school. Why? So that he can have a fruitful and enjoyable stay. The reason why we call it a stay is that this person is going to be there for a certain period of time and at the end of which he should have achieved academic excellency. So after the introduction is done, guys, what you are supposed to do now is you go into the main body. So the introduction must be one paragraph now for men but for men bodies you can write uh, three four five paragraph depends on uh, 
the number of words that you are given. Now, for Zambian standard, we are given 250 to 350 words. So make sure you stick to the number of required words. Now, what happens in the main body? So in the main body is where now you start writing. Why are you writing that letter? Why are you sending that letter? So it's about giving advice. So you start your advice. So for the one you can maybe say, I can start another paragraph. I can just say, I'm glad that you decided to seek advice from me about how to conduct yourself when you join the school. Having been a pupil at this school for nearly five years now, I have come to know the do's and don'ts very well, and I would not mind giving you some tips. So you, the person sending this letter, you have been at that school, so you know, you know the do's and the don'ts. So the do's are things that you are supposed to do. The do's are things that you are not supposed to do as so long as you are a member of that school. Then I can write another paragraph where I can just say, when you go to school, now I start giving the advice, when you go to school, you find people from various backgrounds. What you need to remember is to choose your friends wisely. So there we are giving advice only, the circle of friendship that you need for you to succeed being the member of that school. Bad companies corrupt badly. You might meet police that will try to, I mean, you might meet people that will try to trick you into harmful activities such as smoking and drinking. Please do not give in. So to give in is like to join, to accept an offer. Do not give in. On the other hand, there will be people that know what is right and wrong. These are people you should try to make your close associates. So you can add so many. Maybe you can add in terms of uh, the studies. What time do you think uh, that person can be studying? Then uh, you can uh, also give advice in terms of uh, punctual. You need to be punctual. You need to be at school by this time. So you give as many pieces of advice uh, as you can. Now, let's say we are done. How can we conclude? So the conclusion for most of these letters is mostly just a single sentence or maybe uh, two or three sentences. So I can say, I hope to hear from you soon. I hope to hear from you soon. Full stop. Then when I'm done, like I, I want to finish in line with my details here, this is where I'm going to say yours truly. If you don't want to use truly under this one, you can use yours sincerely. Then after that, you write your names in full. For example, I can write my names using capital letters. Isaac Machiko. Then uh, after this, you write your your signature. So the point is, write your full names in capital letters. Then uh, after that, you need to write your signature. So that's how simple this type of a composition is. So remember, an informal letter. Is the one that we write to people of our age, people we know, can be friends, can be relatives. Then, under this letter writing, you are supposed to write your address, the sender's address only. Then, after the sender's address, like this address here, you are supposed to skip a line, then you go to the date. So, you can use the date of the day of your examinations. Then after that, you skip another line. Then you move on to the salutation. So the salutation is where you say, dear, you mention the name of that person since you know that person. Then you start your introduction, main body. 
so introduction is where you can say greetings and the like then in the main board now you focus you give the reasons why you are writing that letter after that you conclude by saying something good if you want to hear from that person if you want that person to reply to your letter you write in your conclusion yours truly or you can use yours sincerely your names signature and that is done so that's it for this video thanks for watching